Hello, everybody. <laughs> Got to say hello then. Hello. Hello, everyone. Just getting us ready. Hello. Good morning. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Hope you're well. Whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Let's get us sorted out. Hi. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello, guys. Happy Monday. Happy, happy Monday. Hope you're well. Hi, Nicola. Hi, Nicola. <laughs> Lots of people I know that are on today. Good morning. Hello, Teddy and Ruth. Zaki and Zane and Leo and Harvey and Max and Noah and Alex and Percy, Joey and Tommy. Lovely. And Noah. Good morning, everybody. Hello. Hi, Sophia. Hello. Hi, Amber. Good morning. And Zachary and Joshua and George. Hello. And Maisie and Ellie. I'll do as many as I can before we get started. Good morning. I'm conscious that I forgot a couple of your items off your list today. So you're going to have to get ready, parents. You're going to have to go and run around and look for some stuff. So I can't do this for too long. Good morning, William and Ethan and Ralph. And Leo and Oliver, this is giving me good. I keep saying to my husband, it's quite handy for um, ideas for baby names. <laughs> oh, hi, Chris. Hello with Issy and Milana. Um, expect the best while you roll on here. Very worth a follow. Their tips are amazing. Highly qualified. Um, amazing. Oh, good morning, Angus and Oriana. Charles, good morning. Ella and Matilda, hello. Jack and Scarlett, who've I missed? Did you say Matilda? Mila and Rocco, hello. And Freddie and Henry and William, miss this side. Imogen, good morning. Barney and Gemma and Emily and Gwen. If you don't have any cotton buds, that's fine. You can either use fingers or the end of a pencil would be absolutely fine. Good morning, Teddy and Josh and Eve and Molly and Oliver and Jack. Where have we got up to? And Megan and Harris. Good morning. Molly and Rosie. Hi. Hi, Emma. Hello. Lots of people I know today. Good morning. Right. We are going to have to crack on and say it. So I'll do the last ones. Hello, Hugo and Sid and Oliver and Adam and Gia and Anna and Alex and Eve and Megan and Morven and Meredith and... Alf and Bruce and Jake and Ella and Annabelle and Isabel and Molly and Rosie. Have I got everybody? Good morning. I'm Mason Elizabeth. I can't get my Mason to join in at all. Right, I am going to get started. So I'm really sorry if I've not said your name. Otherwise, it's just me reading out names. Good morning. Hello, everybody. Thank you very much for coming to play with me today. Now, grown-ups, I'm terribly sorry. It was rather early when, <laughs> when I was up this morning um, and I forgot a couple of the items off the list. So you might need to get your running, running shoes on and go and grab some stuff. So this morning, you are going to need for our very lovely Easter activity because all of this week, we're going to be doing Easter themes, Easter things. So this morning, you're going to need some sort of cardboard. Um, I'm just using the side of a cereal box, but any piece of cardboard would be fine. Um, you're going to need some silver foil. If you don't have silver foil, it's fine. You will just do yours on the cardboard or paper. It's just an interesting texture to use for making marks. Um, you're going to need some paint. I've got three different colours, but you can use whatever you've got. Some paint, I've just got poster paint, or maybe you've got the paint sticks or whatever. Um, and I'm using a muffin tray to put my paint in. Um, what else have we got? And then um, the cotton buds. Cotton buds are really lovely to use. Don't panic if you don't have them. It will be finger painting is fine. Or um, what I do like to use is use the end of a pencil. Can I grab a pencil? Do I have a pencil to hand? No. Yeah, you could use the end of a pencil. Just dab it in a pencil, whatever. Uh, just it's all about making mark making a bit more interesting and just something a little bit different so i think i've mentioned everything however i'm very sorry i forgot off your list this morning a pair of scissors and some glue sorry about that so grown-ups go and get your scissors and glue because I'm, I'm really sorry i forgot uh, but hopefully you're able to grab it you might be able to get away with uh, without glue actually but you will need the scissors so while your grown-ups have gone to get those bits and pieces because claire forgot i'm very sorry i'm going to get started with a lovely book i would like to share with you today and this is my favorite easter book i love reading this one at easter and at any time 
It's a really lovely book, but just be careful because right at the end, there's a big surprise. Okay, so I'm warning you, get ready. There's a big surprise at the end of this story. And I am sharing this book called The Odd Egg. I love this book. I really love this book. Some of you might have seen this before and read this story before, but this is my one of my favorite books, The Odd Egg. And as it's coming up to Easter and there's lots of Easter eggs, I thought it'd be a ma na really nice time for us to do it. Now this book is written by Emily Gravett and she also does the pictures and the pictures are very beautiful. And I know at the moment that Emily is on Instagram. I don't know if she's on Facebook, but she is also doing live drawing sessions of how she does her illustrations. And she's great, she's amazing. So if you are interested in this book, or something else, or uh, some of her other books, because she has lots of really amazing books. She's a fabulous author, so you might want to go and watch some of her videos and, and learn how to draw some of her pictures. And I'll let her do that, <laughs> rather than me. Right, so, The Odd Egg. I'm going to get started. It's a really lovely one. Some people are saying no sound on their system. I don't know if, I don't know if it's just yours. There's not many people saying no sound, so I'm sorry, Facebook. I'm not sure what's happened there. Okay, so The Odd Egg by Emily Gravett. Now look at that big, wonderful egg. I can see lots of green spots on this one, can you? Have you ever seen an egg with green spots? I don't know. I don't know if I have. I wonder what's going to be inside. All the birds had laid an egg. All except for duck. Oh, poor duck. No egg. Then duck found an egg and he thought it was the most beautiful egg in the whole world. He loves his big green spotty egg. It's a big egg, isn't it? Really big egg. But the other birds did not. Oh dear, the other boys are laughing at him. Hee hee, ha ha, that egg is rather odd, they said. Ah, that's not very nice. Egg, Duck loves his egg. Then, grown-ups, do you remember last week when we were making those little books? This would be rather good for it, wouldn't it? I know, yep. But then, excuse my dishwasher, Creak, crack, <gasps> tweet, 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 tweet. Out came one of the little birds. Creak, crack, cheep, 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 cheep. So I'm trying to hold it so that both cameras can see. Out came another little bird. Too whoop, too woo. Creak, crack. The birds were starting to hatch. Creak, crack. All the eggs had hatched, all except for ducks. Get ready, get ready. Duck waited for his egg to hatch. He waited and he waited and he waited. Can you see? Ducky's been waiting for so long that he's been doing lots of knitting and he's even made some little booties. Aren't they cute? But then, creak, crack, snap! <gasps> what came out of the egg? A crocodile. Can you see that great big mouth on the crocodile? Who thought a crocodile was going to come out of the egg? <gasps> there he is. There's the crocodile. And he's saying, Mama, Mama, to the duck, because now he thinks that the duck is his mummy. And I think that duck is going to take good care of that crocodile, don't you? What did you think? Did you like the odd egg? It's a lovely book, isn't it? It's really, really nice. I really highly recommend this one and actually any of the books that Emily Gravett does. She does some great books. So we saw that Duck had found an odd egg. And 
today we're going to have a go at making our own odd egg. Oh, that's hard to say. Odd egg. Can you say it? Odd egg. Yeah, it's hard to say. Cut your teeth in. Try it again. Odd egg. Oh, that's hard. So we're going to have a go at making our own odd egg. Now I'm just going to have a sip of my drink. <laughs> Right then, I'm just going to push you back and see what I'm doing. So first of all, some people are saying, can I remind you of what you're going to need? You're going to need cardboard, silver foil, some paint. You're going to need some cotton buds if you've got them, um, some glue and some scissors. Now then, I am going to use this cardboard because it's quite thin. Uh, use whatever cardboard you've got, but if obviously if it's quite thick, like the corrugated cardboard, maybe your little ones might need some help. But I would really like the boys and girls to do as much of it as they can because remember what I always say, it's not about it looking perfect, it's about practicing those skills. So all I'm going to do, because I wasn't ready this morning, so I have a five year old at home and everything else that's going on, I'm just gonna cut so I can get into my cardboard box. So I'm only going to need the front. So you just need a piece of cardboard. So excuse me while I chuck my cardboard off. Okay, now then, so on here, we are gonna have a go at drawing an egg. Oh, excuse me one minute. You all right, do you need a plug? Yeah, does it work in the shed? Oh my goodness, I'm so bumming it. Oh my goodness, I'm back. I'm very sorry. <laughs> sorry about that, everybody. <laughs> you don't see that on Blue Peter, do you? Hey, where they have to go and run off to source the help out their husband. Dear me. Right. Have you got your cardboard ready? I hope you do. Thank you for waiting for me. Right. Oh, what I'm going to do on my piece of cardboard, using a pen, I'm going to draw a nice big egg shape, okay? As big as you can fit on your cardboard. Remember, it does not need to be perfect. It needs to just be a nice big round shape. As big as you can get on your cardboard is absolutely fine. So I've done, I've done a nice big one. It's always oh, bigger than my head. I wonder if you can do one as big as your head. Emily Gravett was the um, author G R A V E double -T, T, grab it. So I've done a nice big egg and I'm gonna have a go now at cutting it out. I'm gonna try really hard to stay on the lines. Ooh, I'm out of breath, running around the house. Dear me. This is because last week we said, didn't we, that I can't believe I've not had any interruptions. So I'm going to carefully cut out my egg. Take your time. Got no rush. We're going to be making our very own odd egg. So I'm cutting mine out. I'm going really slowly on the line. Take your time, lots of time. Emily, Emily Gravett was the author. Find her on Instagram. She's great. She does lots of books, Monkey and Me. Um, I've gone blank now. What else has she done? Monkey and Me, Dogs is a good one. There's loads, there's loads and loads. You can pick them out, the style of her drawings. So I have now cut out my egg shape. Wonder how you're getting on. Is it as big as your head? Pretty close actually, isn't it? It looks like a mask. We could be making egg masks today. Now then, while you're doing that, I'm going to show you the next stage, but don't worry, we're in no rush. While I get my breath back. Now then, are you ready? Shall we go on to the next step? Are we okay? I'm getting thumbs up, getting waves, so I'm guessing that's good to go. Okay, I'm gonna rip a piece of foil big enough 
to cover up my egg because we're going to cover it over. So I'm going to rip it. I love using silver foil. It sounds wonderful, don't you think? I think it sounds wonderful. I think it sounds a little bit like a little bit like thunder. When you hear the clouds banging and crashing in the storm, I think it sounds a little bit like thunder. It's lovely, isn't it? And it's so shiny and so smooth. Just have a little feel of your silver foil. It's so shiny, isn't it? It looks like a mirror. Can you see your face in your silver foil? Have a look in your silver foil. Can you see your face? You can. <gasps> Fantastic. Now, it doesn't matter which way up we stick our foil. One side is normally slightly matte and one side is shiny, but that's okay. And all we're going to do is we're going to cover our cardboard in glue and then we're going to stick it on our silver foil and wrap the silver foil around. That's why, don't worry if uh, you don't have glue because it probably would wrap on its own anyway but the glue just helps to stick it in place so i'm just going to go all the way around the edge to put our glue on i love playing with glue does anyone else sticky sticky glue loads of fun sticky sticky glue so i put glue all over my egg and i am going to stick it on Sorry about that. Honestly, if more things couldn't go wrong today, I don't know who it is. I'm so sorry. <laughs> if it's not people shouting me through the window or some random number calling me at 10 o'clock, I am sorry. How are we all getting on? I hope you're okay. So I've pushed my egg onto my silver foil so it's stuck on. And now the dishwasher's making a noise. <laughs> Now, all I'm going to do is carefully wrap my silver foil around. You can trim it if you want to, but this is nice and easy. And also, sometimes if you trim silver foil, it can make a bit of a sharp edge. So wrap it, I would much prefer you to wrap it around to keep this a nice, safe activity. All I'm doing is just wrapping it over. So if you didn't have glue, it probably would stick anyway. Just so that you wrap it around so that you can see the shape of your... <gasps> Egg, there we go. Have you managed to make a nice shiny egg? If you don't have foil, don't worry, you can just do the um just do it on the cardboard. Don't worry about no foil. I like to use foil because it's a really interesting texture for children to use. Like it's just something a bit different that they've probably not made marks on before. So don't worry, just do it on the cardboard. That's okay, it's not essential, but it's just something quite nice. So, people are asking me to repeat. Cut your egg out of cardboard. Stick it onto some silver foil and wrap the silver foil around the back. Nice and easy. Okay, so this is going to be our odd egg. Have you ever seen a shiny silver egg before? I haven't either. Do you want to have a little look and see if your face is in your egg? <gasps> I can see my face in my egg. It's a little bit crinkly. Can you see your face in your egg? Yeah, it looks funny, doesn't it? It's a bit like a mirror. Well, what we're going to do now is we're going to use this to be our odd egg and we're going to decorate it. Now use what you've got. Felt tips, I don't think pencils and crayons would work on it. You can try, but I think it would rip your foil. So what I'm going to do and what I have invited you to do with me, I'm using a muffin tray, but you might have a plate or anything else. I've got some paints and I've chosen some colors that I like for Easter. So I've chosen a nice bright pink one and I'm going to just do a little squirt of that. Didn't think that was going to work either then. <laughs> that would sum up my day, wouldn't it? And then I'm going to do green. It's like a nice grassy green, this one. It's a bit runnier. And then I've got a nice purpley colour. So you can use anything you've got, whatever colours. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a go at decorating our egg. Now, like I said, if you don't have cotton buds, not essential, use your fingers, use end of a pencil and end of a pen, whatever you've got like that. But these are really nice. And the reason why I like using cotton buds, paints are just uh, poster paints and these are the hobby craft ones that you can get in a great big pack. Um, is I really like to use cotton buds. Cotton buds are lots of fun. 
but also nice because we've something a little bit different to draw with and paint with which is lovely but also they make our little hands work extra hard because they're so small and fiddly to hold on to it's really good practice remember that pincer grip i show you when we all pretend to be little crabs and we use our finger and thumbs it's really great for holding on and using on your cotton bird so it gets um, gets you using and holding them with lots and lots of concentration and it gives our hands lots of good practice for when we're learning to write so that's why I like to use cotton buds as and when you can but anything else for dibbing and dabbing is lots and lots of fun now all we're going to do now is use our cotton buds to dip in the paint and can you remember the egg in my story the odd egg it was a lovely spotty egg it had green spots on so we're going to have a go at doing some spots and then i also wonder whether you could put on some lines some circles some zigzags maybe you can lo make lots of different patterns on your egg do whatever you want to do so i'm just going to have a go at starting with some dots so i'm just really simply dipping my cotton bud into the paint and then i'm going to put it onto my shiny onto my shiny odd egg. Can you have a go? Oh, it looks so cool. And it's good because it, the cotton buds are good for making lots of little dot marks and we can make our odd egg look really spotty and wonderful. So have a little go. Now then, I am actually gonna swap my cotton buds, a different cotton bud for each color, just so they don't mix up. But it's totally up to you and depends on what you've got. So I'm just, can you see? So it starts to make, you can draw on it. Doesn't it look so fun? Be like, have you tried it? Are you having a go? I might have a go at doing a line now. Let's see if you can paint a line. Oh, it feels really nice. Because the silver foil is so shiny, it feels really nice with the paint on it, doesn't it? You can move the paint around and get our little ones doing lots of different marks, whether it's lines, Lines, zigzags, dots, all those sorts of things are really great for practicing for our fine motor skills or those pre-writing skills. <clears throat> How's yours getting on? Is it good? Have you got an odd egg? I hope so. I'm just going to enjoy doing some dots. I love using colours and painting. It's nice using the silver foil, isn't it? Don't worry if you don't have foil, you're doing it on cardboard. I bet yours looks fabulous too. There we go. How are you getting on? How's your egg? I can't wait to see these, um, these eggs. Oh, we've got someone doing zigzags and dots. Amazing. Lovely. Oh, you're having a, I'm so pleased everyone's having a good time with their, making their odd eggs. Just, and I think Duck in the story would have definitely loved our eggs, wouldn't he? He loved his green spotty egg. Oh, I'm having a lovely time making mine all spotty. Sydney has gone for a spotty dotty zigzag egg. I think that sounds wonderful, Sydney. I love the idea. It's gonna look really nice. Zigzags and spots. Everyone's having a lovely time. Swirls, what a lovely idea to do. Do some swirls, great. Because that's it, we don't always have to use paintbrushes to do painting, do we? It's nice to use something a little bit different. I like using cotton buds, or you can use things from outside to paint with. Maybe you've got some corks in the house with lockdown going on. Might have some corks to use up. I'm just having a jolly old time now, so do feel free. <laughs> Do feel free to get to carry on as you are, but I am having fun making my odd egg. Good morning, Holly. Morning. You've got a rainbow egg. Lovely. Lots of spots. I'm hearing that we've got lots and lots of spots. Sounds lovely. Hi to Isla and Darcy. Hello. Rosie's loving this. Oh, I'm glad you're having a good time, Rosie. I am too. It is just really nice having time to paint and make patterns and pictures. And it doesn't have to be an egg either, does it? You could actually just roll out some silver foil and anyone that's got those paint sticks works really nice and you can decorate silver foil. It's really nice, but I know 
but people are finding it hard to get hold of at the minute. Unless you've got any shiny wrapping paper left over from. Good morning. We've done it every day. Wow, well done Cassie and JJ. You draw it every day, my goodness. I'm struggling to read the words because of my white jumper. Oh, Luna says a mermaid lives in her egg. Yeah, we haven't decided what lives in our egg, have we? That's true. I wonder what lives in our eggs. Oh, how exciting. <laughs> Lots of you enjoying it. Hello, Lana. Hello, Florence. Oh, you're very kind. I do enjoy it. Good morning. Lots of you joining in. I love that you are making. If anyone's just tuning in, we have we are making some eggs. Look at those. Don't they look? They make. I think it makes the paint look extra bright and and inviting when you do it against the foil. Oh, we've got another one with a mermaid. We've got lots of mermaid eggs today. How wonderful! got a dinosaur. Some people say that they're joining later. Got a unicorn in yours. I'm not surprised, Sophia. A dinosaur in your egg. Wow. A chicken egg. How lovely. An Easter, an Easter bird is going to come out of your egg. A shark. <gasps> wow, Zane, a shark in your egg. Crocodile egg. Fantastic. These are really great. Rainbow dinosaur. I love the sound of that. Well done. Oh, Christmas egg. Lovely. Lots of dinosaur eggs, baby dragons. I love these. Yeah, lots of different things. How exciting. On to our second. Someone's moving on and already making another egg. If you've got plenty of cardboard and silver foil, maybe you could do more eggs. Could you do some tiny eggs? Could you do some big eggs? We've done a pretty big one, haven't we? Maybe you could do lots of little tiny ones. Someone is asking what paints I am using. I'm pretty sure they're Hobbycraft. I'm sure they are. Um, I am using Ready Mix paint from Hobbycraft. You get them in the big set, like 10 or 12. They last ages, really lovely. I use these a lot. Good morning, crocodile in your egg. Rainbow spotty egg, stripy square, odd egg, lovely. I love these. Really nice, a T-Rex egg, a crotta says chocolate is coming out of her egg. Wow, Florence, that sounds like an egg that I would like. Spotty eggs, blue dinosaur in yours. We love hats by Emily Gravett. I don't think I've read hats. I don't know if I know that one. I'll have to go and have a look. Yeah, really love, really love it. Zach, Zach and Max say hi. Dinosaur eggs here. Oh, it's gonna be exciting in your house, isn't it? It's really nice drawing up and painting on the silver foil, isn't it? Are you enjoying that? Already making your second, wowee. I wonder maybe if you could put a little, could you put a little bit of string or a ribbon or maybe do a hole punch and you could hang it somewhere. Might be quite nice, mightn't it? Yeah, shiny eggs, odd eggs, our odd eggs. And we've been inspired today by the odd egg by Emily Gravett. Anyone that's just tuning in, I was saying that Emily Gravett who does, who writes the book and illustrations, I mean, talk about Wonder Woman, being able to write such wonderful books and the illustrations are gorgeous. Um, I know, I don't think every day, but every so often she is doing lives on her Instagram, teaching the children how to draw different characters from her books. Might be a nice one for you to check out if you're looking, something to do if you have any little ones. Um, who love drawing. I'm, believe it or not, big into drawing. I used to do a lot of drawing when I was little and I learnt from copying illustrations in books. It's a really great way of learning to draw. We are going to make window display for Easter with our creations. That sounds lovely. I bet if you hang them in the window, the sunshine will shine off your eggs and it'll be really lovely. You've got an Easter tree. That sounds really nice. Right then, guys, I'm going to have to go because I imagine I'm going to get bumped off soon by Instagram. I've got in the habit of doing this, haven't I, of um, starting activity and just ended up sitting and chatting to you. It's lovely to see you all. So I am going to go now. It sounds like your odd eggs are fabulous. So would you please, I would love to see some pictures of your odd eggs. 
I bet they're better than mine. I haven't even finished mine. I'm going to sit and finish mine now. I'm going to see if I can get my little boy to join me. I think he'd enjoy this too. He refuses to go my videos these days. He used to. No, he doesn't. Um, I'm going to sit and finish my egg. So I invite you to finish doing your odd egg. And if you can, don't worry if not, I would love to see your photos, see what you've been making, getting up to. Love to see your odd eggs. Remember, as always, don't have to include your children. Whoops. Just your eggs is absolutely fine. I'd also really like to invite you for the grown ups to come and join our community group over on Facebook. It is a fabulous source of information from fellow parents, carers, and educators. People on there asking, I've got this weird piece of packaging, what shall I do with it? People on there talking about any great apps you're using with children. Uh, there was a great thread yesterday and I've forgotten what it was, or asking about paints, or it's just really, really useful. I highly recommend if you're looking for some sort of support network or just somewhere you can ask questions or get ideas, see what other people are doing at home as well. Some of the stuff they're sharing is awesome and it's all about celebrating play, not making you feel guilty or rubbish or anything like that. Anyway, so please do come on over to the Facebook community page. You are more than welcome to join us there and um, we can share and help you out or whatever, whatever you need. Have a lovely day, everybody. It's been so nice to see you. I will be back tomorrow for another Easter activity and I will let you know what you need. Enjoy making your odd eggs. I can't wait to see them. And I will see you tomorrow at 10 o'clock. I'm gonna save this video now. We'll be going on YouTube. Um, if you do need to go back, all right. Oh, they sound fabulous. How do we show you the photos? Either put them in the community page. If you are part of the community, you can send them in there or send me a message and just attach the photo. Um, or if you're posting it on your Instagram, that's the easiest actually. If you're posting it on your Instagram, just put at play.ray and it alerts me so that I can come and have a little look and see it and share it. That'd be great. All right, I'm going to leave you to it now, guys. I'm going to leave you alone. Enjoy making your fabulous odd eggs, and I will see you tomorrow for another super easy but fun Easter activity. Bye, guys. Happy playing. Bye.